Hey everyone, today we'll be talking about measuring measuring metal tools. So, but well before that, uh, we would like for us to revise what we learned last week. That is our marking out tools. So I said marking out tools. They are tools that helps in uh, that helps in transferring a design or pattern to a workpiece. So, which could be angle plate, surface plate, scribers, surface gauge, and so on. So, that's on that. Now, let's now start the lesson proper. Um, measuring tools. Measuring hand tools are the hand tools used in metal work that helps us to measure, that helps the metal workers to measure the, their objects, objects that will be constructed. So some of them are the first one here is a steel rules. Steel rules are similar to wooden rulers. Uh, they are used for measuring rough metal stock. They can also be called steel rulers. So this that is on that. Then the next one is a micrometer. Micrometer is designed to measure the outside diameter of metal. So that is. Uh, micrometer can be used only on a round metallic object that is only a metal that is round that is when the uh, uh, micrometer can be used then this the diagram below shows a micrometer and the object that is colored red is uh, is an object that the micrometer is being and then we can see that we, they are using the micrometer to measure that object. So we have the anvil, we have the spindle, we have the main scale, ratchet, timber scale. These are the parts of a micrometer. That's on that. Then the next one is die calipers. Die caliper is used to measure the inside diameter of a metal. This can also be used to measure around the metallic objects. Then the next one we have the hardness tester. The hardness tester is a tool that is used to measure the thickness of metal. Before we can use any metallic sheet or any metallic material to construct, uh, there must be and we must there is need to test the thickness. Because the metal object or metal sheet or the metal material must not be too thick before um, we, when you are using it. Because it must, once we did not test, when you did not test the metal and we make use of it, that particular object might be too heavy to carry. So that is why there is need for a metal worker to measure the thickness of the metallic material to be used before the construction is done. So the next one is a uh, tri-square. Tri-square is used to test the accuracy of, uh, of work. Let's continue. We have the tape rule. The tape rule is used to measure large, di large dimension such as the length of a metal bar. We can use the steel rule to measure short dimension, why this tape rule can be used to measure large dimension. It's similar to the carpenter uh, tape rule. So that's some of the um, tools used in uh, measuring in metal work. So the first one that I explained is the steel rule. Steel rule, like I said, steel rule can be used to measure rough metal stock and I said that micrometer can be used or is designed to measure the outside diameter of metal. Then die calipers are used their die calipers are used to measure inside diameter of a metal. Then we also have hardness tester which is used is a tool that is used to measure the thickness of metal. Then we have a tri-square. 
I explained try square as a tool that is used to test the accuracy of work. Then the last one that I mentioned here is the tape rule, which is used to measure large dimension, such as the length of a metal bar. So that's on that. If there is any question, you can send the question to the platform. I will answer immediately. So this, the next question here is an assignment for you students. And uh, the first one says divine metal work measuring and tools, which I've explained. Then number two says state and explain any three examples of metal work and tools. I believe it's not too hard. Okay. So by God's grace, on Thursday, I will be explaining driving, metal work driving and tools. All right. So then, stay blessed. Thank you.